Good morning once again. Now the requirement for us is we need to develop a lightning app component that will take two strings from me first name last name and it outputs US style full name. Well so it's expecting two inputs first name a string last name another string and it displays the result the string that is US time full name the thing here is till now we have developed the components in developer console today let's develop the things in ID sublime text editor ID to develop lighting components in Sublime Text Editor, it should work along with Force.com CLI. So we need to install Lighting IDE and it works in combination of Force.com CLI. First, let's see how to install the things. Then let's do the development in the IDE. Well. So, we need to install Sublime Text Editor on our machine. We can get it downloaded from www.sublimetext.com. Then, force.com CLI from this URL, force-cli.heroku.com, otherwise herokuapp.com. We need to add the path so that it can be executable. So we can operate it from anywhere in the console. Then we need to install package control. It's nothing but a little Python code uh, for our sublime text, maybe version 2, version 3, whatever it may be. Then we need to install sublime lightning plugin. Let's see step by step. The first thing, let's download and install Sublime Text. So I am going to sublimetext.com. So it has identified my operating system is Windows 64 bit and recommending download for Windows 64 bit. If I am not sure what my operating system, otherwise if I am sure I want a specific download, I can go here, other platforms, otherwise the older version, text 2, the current version is 3. X3, the current version. Well, otherwise I will go to the download tab and I can take a decision what I want. So it is selecting Windows 64 bit for me. Well, by the way, let me know about the information about my operating system or my machine. Go into the desktop, this PC, right click, properties. <laughs> So mine is Windows 10, so Windows OS and 64 bit, 64 bit. Just a second. Right. So mine is Windows 64 bit. Okay. To download uh, the compatible apps. Fine. Click on that. Windows 64 bit. Give some location uh, for the time being. I am giving my desktop. Sublime text. Build. Setup. Okay. 
let's observe in the desktop okay setup file is that at the same time let me also download force CLI from the heroku.com go there force hyphen CLI dot heroku.com otherwise heroku app.com everything is okay Windows 64 bit 32 bit so click on 64 bit my because mine is 64 bit well we have just downloaded sublime text editor for CLA not yet installed let's install sublime text let's install sublime text editor path program files sublime text 3 because we need to move for CLI over there fine what is done is we have installed sublime text editor So sublime text tree it's installed the next thing that I need to do is I need to move this force CLI to root folder of sublime text editor I am cutting it cut and cut and let me move it to C drive program files and sublime text tree here let me move provide the permissions well so force CLI is there in the root folder of sublime text because sublime text editor Salesforce lightning plugin will work in combination with force CLI okay then <coughs> install package control it's nothing but um, a little Python code for the version of sublime text editor 2 or 3 whatever it may be what we will go install package control package control so package control dot io slash installation at this URL you will get the latest code so ours is text 3 version 3 if I have downloaded and installed text 2 version 2 I will go to this tab and copy the code what I will do let me copy this one right. We need to be very careful one space should not be omitted one space should not be given extra so what we have to do we have to launch our sublime text editor and go to console the shortcut command is control plus tilde symbol otherwise in the menu view and show console first of all uh, what I am doing let me launch sublime text tree right then view 
show console the shortcut is control plus tilde uh, the key under the escape in the keyboard left top corner we have escape key exactly below that we have this i am using shortcut control plus tilde here at the bottom here right i am going to paste it enter it's doing 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 so it's suggested the sublime text editor should be restarted otherwise the installed packages may not function properly okay let's do that closed sublime text tree well it, it's also done <clears throat> i have installed package control fine the next step install sublime lightning plugin for the sublime test editor after installing the package control let me go to tools the first option command palette the palette of commands the shortcut command is control shift I'm using shortcut command control shift P and search for lightning install package control so search for something says for lightning or is lightning right lightning sublime plugin for aura sublime plugin for aura select that one well sublime lightning requires the force.com cli to function so please visit force-cli.herokuyab.com to install the force.com CLI. If you have already installed it, make sure that you saved it or created a similar link to it in Sublime's default path. Already we have done that. Force is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program or batch file. Okay. So what is needed is we have already installed sublime text editor and very importantly moved force.com cli to the root folder uh, because text editor is installed on program files sublime text tree folder so force.com cli is also moved over there fine happy the next thing what we will do to make it is executable if i go to command mode now DOS command mode and say subl dot exe or force dot exe subl not recognized force not recognized I will show one more thing program files text 3 if I type subl now right open launched if I say force some force commands are there what I mean to say from the root folder I am able to operate it if I wanted to execute it from away from anywhere in the console I need to create one environment variable so path let's add it to the path
on the desktop right click on the computer go to properties in the properties you have advanced system settings this is not a new thing if you have already created some environment variables here I have environment variables in the system variables look for the path edit it so, add and browse give it to uh, C drive program files sublime test tree well okay and force CLI is also there what I am doing I am making sublime test tree and as an executable as well as force.com CLI also fine now I am opening command mode say SUBL now executable from anywhere and force these are the force commands I am not putting concentration now of force.com uh, CLA commands my main focus is developing lightning component lightning components and sublime test editor by installing a lightning plugin because it works along with force.com CLI we have installed CLI well the next step let's start developing our component our requirement is uh, we need to have one standalone application so we are going to create app component which is containing so which will work as a container for possessing one component one lightning component component that will take two inputs and displays the result on clicking a button right let's take the click event 